Survey says ski masks should be outlawed in Chicago. This is from the head of an anti-violence group. They are recommending no more ski masks. Huh. All right. Anyway, let's jump on in. Let's see what we've got going on. The head of a Chicago violence interruption group wants to make it illegal for people to wear ski masks outdoors in Chicago and across Illinois. No slopes, no masks. Huh. Interesting. That's it's an interesting thought, isn't it? Because what do you need a ski mask for? Well... What if you're riding a bike and it's real cold outside? What if you're riding a motorcycle and it's real cold outside? I mean, those are some options. Yeah. What if you are just getting your stuff fit for mountaineering? You're going to be up high. You need a balaclava because that's what that's essentially what we're talking about, right? Talking about a ski mask. No, this is something that you can wear on your face so that your nose doesn't fall off due to frostbite. Yeah, that's their essential purpose. It's what they were originally intended for. And if you've been ever been up high somewhere and you've been in a storm and the wind is just whipping through and it's like minus 10, yeah, you're going to put that balaclava on and be very, very thankful because you're still going to have your ears and your earlobes and your nose isn't going to freeze and your lips aren't going to crack and freeze. Without that balaclava, that might happen. It gets so cold. But the issue is they're used for criminal activity and we all know it. We know it to the point, well, we got to keep going because there's some pretty interesting stuff in here. If a person is not going skiing anywhere here in Chicago, which we do not have any ski slopes in Chicago, it's time to ban full face ski masks. That's how bad things have gotten in Chicago. All right. Well, we can't ban guns. And plus, most of the shootings that are happening, they're happening with people who steal guns. So, you know, that's not really going to do anything. Let's go after ski masks. Uh Uh-oh. Is there going to be a run on ski masks? Is REI going to have a hard time keeping their supply chain full with ski masks, balaclavas? Is that going to happen? Don't really know. Get your ski mask today because we might run short here, right? Today, I'm coming to everybody with a special message. It's time to ban full ski masks in Chicago and throughout the state of Illinois. What is interesting and what I came up with from this research is that there's a bunch of other cities that have already already done – they've already gone down this road. They're like, ah, no more ski masks. Too many criminals wearing them. Too many criminals wearing them. Too many crimes are being committed. Too many people carjacked. People are being killed. People are being robbed with people wearing full face ski masks, he explained. A lot of I, – I agree. I'm not disagreeing here. A lot of the footage I see, I'm like, okay, what is that person? Oh, I can't tell. He got a ski mask on. I mean, it's, you know, you got the eye holes you can see out of them, nothing else. So you can see the color of somebody's eyes. If somebody's wearing, you know, sunglasses under there you know, or sunglasses over the top of the ski mask, you can't see what they look like at all. You might be able to tell how tall they are and what their build is. Then they got a bunch of clothes and the ski mask that just basically, you know, hides the individual. And that's what we're going for. So, I mean, I get it, but it's kind of like, all right, this is how bad things have gotten. Ski masks, no more, no more. Someone has to speak up and take this bull by the horn and make a difference in Chicago. Hardiman continued, several states have banned full-face ski masks already. So let's join the other states here in the Illinois and do our best to keep people safe here in Chicago. Like I just talked about Lori Lightfoot sending out just a real hardcore tweet after the shooting in Colorado Springs, which was a targeted on an LGBTQ, did I get all those in there? I think it's like eight. I'm supposed to say eight in there, but plus you got to have that. If I put in the plus, I think I'm covered. All right. So targeted a nightclub frequented by the LGBTQ community. Horrible deal. Have somebody run in there with a gun and you know, I think murdered four people and shot another 18. Horrible situation. You don't want that to happen to anybody. You don't want it to happen to any particular nightclub. Hard no-go, right? I mean, we can all agree on that. But then the mayor just goes off saying, oh, this is horrible and terrible. Shouldn't happen. Which she is right. But that is, that's a that's literally a slow weekend in Chicago. Those kind of stats for number of people killed, number of people injured by gunfire. That is a slow, slow weekend. 
So, you know, and that's just the weekend. On a monthly basis, you've got dozens and dozens of people having their lives ended. So are we going to solve it by, you know, taking away the ski mask thing? No, it's not going to, that's not going to solve anything. But it's kind of recognizing where we're at, which is, ah, this is wildly out of control. We got to do something here. One of my thoughts is always, well, you know, you've got a situation where you're letting people out right back out on the streets for committing crimes. And you've just got this whole rinse, repeat cycle going on. And what if you had a situation where you put people away for a long time for a stolen gun? Hmm. Yeah. Be interesting, wouldn't it? I mean, just throwing that out there is something. Or people that commit a crime that you've prosecuted, put them away for a while in jail, prison. Put them away. Put Get them off the streets. I think that's what you got to do. You can kind of arrest your way out of some of that. You can't. We just don't do it anymore. And so we're like, oh, I don't really know what to do. Let's take away their ski masks. I have a handful of balaclavas because of mountaineering. I just do. I mean, and they're invaluable. When you need one, you need one. I actually have gone away from balaclavas and I go to the buff, which is this cool, and they come in all kinds of colors and shapes and what whatnot. But it's um, it's basically just a scarf made out of polypro material and you can pull it up, you can make a hat out of it, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. I mean, there's YouTube channels on what you can do with it. So I, I take that because it's very lightweight, you throw it in your backpack, it, it, put it at the bottom, if you need it, you pull it out. And then yeah, you don't lose skin off your face, because that's a deal. You get frostbite on your face. That's not a good look. How come your skin is all black? Ah, a little frostbite. Oh, that looks painful. It is. That's why you have balaclava. So ski masks, or more accurately, balaclavas, have become a year-round fashion accessory popularized by rapper Pooh Shiesty. Now, Pooh Shiesty has quite a selection of balaclavas for all of your skiing needs. Now, Pooh Shiesty is a famous rapper, and they go for about 55 bucks each. Now, the interesting thing there is I, I wasn't aware that the rap community did a lot of skiing. I mean, that's just not something that I thought correlated. I thought skiing was kind of a, you know, outdoorsy sport where, you know, um, you're, you're not seeing a lot of rap stars out there going down the slopes, are you? Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, I wasn't really aware that this is a thing, but apparently it is because Pooh Shiesty, when he's not in prison... Seems to be doing good business. Now, he, he was sentenced to five years back in April, but that's, you know, that's a whole for, you know, a gun violation. But that, that's, that's not the point of this podcast. That, I mean, yeah. So, no, face masks are an accessory for committing crimes. Bottom line. Bottom line. Hey, Pooh Shiesty, if he can make a buck off of it, the actual selling of these things isn't illegal. It's not illegal. It's when you put one on and go rob somebody or something that it becomes, yeah, the act that we're trying to avoid. An updated story on new to ski.com lists 13 states with some form of anti-mask law. Most of the listed states prohibit wearing masks during the commission of a crime or to conceal one's identity. According to the story, wearing a ski mask to stay warm or presumably for fashion purposes does not appear to be illegal in most of the states. We've all, you know, gone out on events and stuff and you're getting dressed and your significant other is over there. And um, what should I wear? I've got nothing to wear. All right. How about this? Throw on a ski mask. All right, that's an accessory they won't see coming. Put on the full balaclava. I mean, they literally won't know who you are. Let's go to the event in that. Let's go to the movie. You wear a ski mask. We're just going to do this. Said nobody ever. For fashion purposes? No. Yeah. You're using this to commit a crime. That's what you're doing. Hmm, interesting. But let's just say for fashion purposes, it could have an application. I mean, if Pooh Shiesty is selling them, it's got to be true, right? Speaking with the Southland Journal, Pardman said, they should not 
be outside their own homes for businesses with a full ski mask on. They should not be able to knock on anybody's door with a full face ski mask on. If the police see anyone driving with a full face ski mask on, that should raise suspicion. I don't see any ski slopes in Chicago. No slopes, no ski mask. Ah, truer words were never said. Yeah. All right. Get rid of those ski masks. I mean, it's ridiculous that we have to podcast on this, right? It's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Let's look at the root causes of what's going on. Social inequity. All right. Wealth inequity. All right. <clears throat> More importantly, you've got a whole bunch of criminals. You've got a whole bunch of gang members that are just taken out. You know, this, this is how life goes in Chicago. They just shoot each other. And commit crimes. And sometimes both in the same event. And they'll wear a ski mask. How many times do you see, you know, video footage of somebody? And it's not just Chicago. It's not just Chicago. But that's where the story is emanating from. And they're the ones going, all right, Illinois, let's ban ski masks. Man, it gets cold in Chicago, though. So, you know, I, I see the application. You're walking down the street. You're walking to uh, whatever. You know, maybe the big football game, right? Big football game, and you want to put on your balaclava. Ah, I don't really want to get arrested because these are illegal now. No, it just shows the whole ridiculousness of the situation, which is we can't seem to get a handle around people killing each other. Yeah, we've just made that okay. It's just okay. And, you know, we've basically stated that by having a rap star who sells fashionable face masks on his website when he's not in prison. Hmm. Interesting. That gave you something to think about, right? Yeah. All right. Putting that whole puzzle together, pieces of the puzzle together. Yeah. Face masks aren't the issue. People killing each other and robbing each other. Those are the issues. All right. Now that we got that clear, thanks for being here. We'll catch up soon on the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.